This is a one of a kind seven on seven league and it's gonna be a certified move. Most elite seven on seven teams are here battling it out to get the trophy. Tonight, we got a great matchup between Fast Houston and SFE. I'm your host, the former Michigan quarterback Devin Gardner, and to my right is the man, Alex, aka Overtime Day. Let's get the show going. Here we go. Let, let's get the road on the show. Road on the show, show on the road. Show on the road, road on the show. Yeah, I don't know. You say I don't know. It. Either way, let's play ball. Let's go. QB drops back. Drops back. Going deep. Woo! Oh! Easy. Too easy. First play of the game. Just like that. Wow. Hey, you were a quarterback at Michigan. Did you ever have a throw what? that open? Yeah. Listen, you just don't get that wide open. And it's because somebody burst the coverage. Fast Houston tried to come out in a cover two, right? Leave the middle open. But the safety was influenced by the speed of the wide receiver running down the middle. There's nobody on the outside third easy to I mean it doesn't get any easier than that it doesn't look I'm not a quarterback going to USC but I think I could have made that throw with ease that was yeah, right that was there. open and that hell of a catch yeah you hell saw the catch. safety run with the inside route and that outside route is wide open fast you just gonna have to make some adjustments <laughs> yeah I mean any anything's better than that star but this fast use in offense oh we got point after here we go in the corner He's looking for his favorite target, Brandon is, and it's a great person to look for. Yesterday, we got a chance to see him, and he's he's as advertised, right? I mean, when he catches the ball, his acceleration and all those different, like, he is the number one receiver in the country with my eyeball. Absolutely. Class of 2023, uh, you know, he's, he's uh, committed to Florida, and this guy, this guy is the number one in the country for a reason. So we're gonna take it. We're gonna take it down to Liv and see what we got down there. What, what you got for us, Liv? You made that look really easy. How do you feel starting the game off? I mean, really early, getting in the end zone. How do you feel about the momentum for that for SFE? Uh, it felt great. Uh, get the team on the board early and give our uh, defense that momentum going in, getting the start, and we go down the score again. Absolutely. Can we expect to see you in the end zone one more time? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Best of luck. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Liv. And you see the SFE is not wasting any time. They're trying, they're trying to get on the board early and often. They are not happy about that on one start. Nope. And uh, and fast Houston, though they're they're moving quickly too. That's a first down completion to Mizell. This this fast Houston uh, this fast Houston team is called fast Houston for a reason, Devin. I mean, they're on the ball very quickly. Who? Looks like a miscommunication from the wide receiver and the quarterback, right? They weren't on the same page, but it almost worked out, right? It worked out almost in their favor, but just not enough on the ball to make sure it's a completion. Listen, this is kind of a big third down, right? Especially since we just saw SFE score on the first place so seamlessly. You you almost have to get this first down, right? You have to. You have to. It looked like he was going for back shoulder there, and they weren't on the same page. But, I mean, especially after that start SFE had, you got to pick up this first down here. We're going to get him in motion wheel, just in case wheel. SFE stays in their man-to-man -man defense that they love. Fly, fly. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Good Got him. Let's go. Oh, oh, they gave, oh, him, they gave it to him. They gave it to him. Do you think he had it? I don't think he yeah. had it, but <laughs> when the Zebras make a call, they do. Oh, they didn't give it to him. Hey, yeah, they didn't. Yeah, I, from my eyes, I didn't see that he got it. So the it, one thing it was that, right there at the line. The one thing that I saw these kids do, they do such a great job of reaching the ball out as they're about to get tagged, right? He didn't do it there, and they didn't give him the first down. And, I mean, you don't have to worry about the fumble. Might as well do it every single time. Malachi Nelson back at work here. So yesterday, SFE decided to switch in and out with the quarterbacks. This is the first time that we've seen him go back to back with Malachi Nelson. Staring at Ennis the whole time. Woo! What? Oh, wow! He has him on skates. He had him on skates. Listen, that's like a five, six yard throw. And that's why you throw it to Brandon Ennis because something special is going to happen. Take a look at this. Just an easy throw, nothing special from the quarterback. But then you see, what? 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 Give me one more. <laughs> going back again. One more. Wow. Don't be so mean, Brandon Ennis. 
each juke. He 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 split out about five yards on each juke there. Tough Man, to play D on that. It has to be uncomfortable because he's a big stocky guy, right? He's not big a small guy. guy. Big but guy. he still has the quicks to make guys fall and run into each other. Complete. He's tall, he's quick, he's strong. And clearly the number one receiver in the country. And clearly <laughs> the number one receiver in the country. Pass, Nothing really there for Nelson. Yes, Houston did a good job of on that play, playing a zone defense, but making it look like man underneath, right? So they got the two safeties back, man underneath. And to be honest, I think that's a smart way to play defense because in the league, you can't run as the quarterback, right? So you just play man to man underneath with two high safeties. It takes away a lot of the windows. As you can see right there, there is nowhere for Malachi Nelson to throw the ball. Fast Houston has studs on defense, but I think if I was Fast Houston's defense, I'd be playing zone for not just that reason, but it's tough to line up man to man with as many studs that SFE has split out wide. Yeah, and then how conditioned are they, right? Football season isn't here yet, right? Some of these kids don't run track. How, are they super conditioned that they can run around with these five stars all day? And like 105 degrees too here in Vegas. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's it. a pretty what ball. A ball. That's a pretty ball. Ooh, wow. Josiah. Trader, JoJo Trader, a hey, five-star athlete, listen, athlete, dog, dog. Listen, th this is why Malachi Nelson is so heralded. This is arm talent, right? See how he layers the ball right mm. over the defender into his receiver's hands, right? That's a ball you got to get up fast and then down fast so it doesn't get to the next DB. And then, obviously, the rest is done by the talented wide receiver. On his first touchdown, Nelson showed off the cannon. On the second one, he showed off the touch. Wow. Nelson looks like he's in his living room right now. He's putting on a clinic. Makai Lemon, right? A little a little foreshadowing, right? Future USC teammate with the catch of the extra point. And, and you can see right now, SFE has started extremely fast, and fast Houston is going to have to speed up. And not just that, look for that connection as this game goes on. These two were our teammates in high school. They're going to USC together. They're boys. You know they have that connection. Oh, yes, they've got guys like Brandon Anderson and stuff, but you know Nelson will be looking for Lemon anytime he's open. Let's see if fast Houston can respond. They're going in motion. You're going to see SFE play a lot of man and get very aggressive at the line. So right there, you got a mesh concept, right? And when you, when you hear mesh, it's exactly what you think, where two receivers are meshing together, but the thing is they're way too close, right? And the quarterback is taking a little bit too much time to try to find his receivers, and it's making it increasingly difficult to be successful. Not just that, but SFE is jamming them at the line. So if, you know, if you're doing that mesh concept and you're that close together and you're getting jammed at the line, yeah. I, I don't know if I'd be going back to that, but SFE looks like they're playing a little further off here. No, they are ultra aggressive. They're gonna walk up and they're gonna get in these guys' chests as much as possible. Devin and Alex, I'm actually standing on the sideline right now with Malachi Nelson. Kind of want to get a get a feel for how he's feeling after such a beautiful extra point and touchdown from you. You look very calm out there. It looks easy. Your communication with your wide receivers just seems effortless. How do you guys get there? Yeah, we fixed it, you know, from yesterday, really. You know, we came out, we were a little shaky. We weren't all on the same page. You know, guys are running routes. They don't know what the purpose is, you know, of the routes. And so we ended up, you know, going, we, you know, hey, meet in room 205. And, you know, we went all over it and you know, went over signals, whatever it was, you know, to get right because a lot of guys haven't played together. You know, I haven't played with a lot of them. You know, in a couple months so uh you know trying to get that you know trying to condense everything that we should be learning over time um you know into these couple days so well the chemistry is there Devin and alex it sounds like he's doing his homework and it's definitely paying off yeah absolutely and what you can hear from malachi nelson as sfe does a great job of using their one and only blitz they're trying to bury fast houston right now and go up three scores on them but what, what malachi nelson is talking about is the ability to get on the same page as receivers and he talked about the purpose right the purpose of the receivers and why they're running routes that's so important and, and you can see the difference today absolutely and it's giving them a 17 nothing lead nelson takes his series off and we've seen fast houston come out here with a little bit of a different defense especially after what they saw SFE do on defense. Yeah. Fast Houston coming up, looking to play a little bit closer. You know, it looks like they're going man to man, but either way, they're starting to jam these guys, but now they're backing off a little bit again. You'll be smart to get it to that guy. 
right? You just wanted to get into that guy. I mean, there, there is no other person that you need to look at now. You got a lot of talented guys, but if you get the guy, the ball to Brandon Dennis, it's going to be a win-win, I think. Absolutely. And not just that, but of, of all the guys that we've seen here, it looks like he would be just as ready to play in pads, too. You see his size. You see his speed. You really don't see any holes in his game. Oh, yeah. A few times yesterday, the referees had to talk to him about running through the defender. <laughs> Said, could you slow down when you're about to get tagged? You know, they used to tell me that, too. I'm telling you. Yeah, because you are a mock dog. Oh. What, what a pass. What a pass. Brandon Ennis. Stop it. Stop it. Number one wide receiver in the country for a reason. What a throw. What a catch. That was a dime. And so, he, that's a dime, and that's a dog. The, that the is thing a dog. That, the thing that people might get tired of is like, man, why are they talking about Brandon Ennis so much? Well, this is why we're talking about Brandon Ennis so much. We saw this so much yesterday. And let's not get confused, right? SFE is on one right now. But yesterday's game went all the way down to the very last play where Brandon Ennis had an amazing catch to almost tie the game. They didn't get the extra point. But let's let's be clear. That was a head-to-head -head matchup that went back and forth, and they lost by the hair on their chinny-chin-chin. -chin. Absolutely. The extra point. Nice play by the DB there. Hey, Ennis made a great play. It was a great route. He was open. Don't sleep on the throw. Yeah. He dropped that in there nice. Oh, yeah. Back to work here for Fast Houston. Right. They, they need something fast. So this is exactly what they wanted, right? They wanted to go up three scores, and that's why on the previous possession on third down, they used their blitz, right? So every defense gets one blitz, and that was a smart decision because going up three touchdowns with only nine minutes left, I mean, it, it's not conducive to success for Fast Houston, right? They are at, on an uphill battle. Let's see if they can climb. Looking deep. You know what I love is SFE is up 23-0. They come out first down, and they're playing press coverage right off the bat. Yeah, I mean, like I said, they are trying to bury him. And, and that's, that's figuratively. They're literally trying to bury him when they are at the line of scrimmage. The thing is for Pat Houston, they can't press. Right, so they're down three scores, but they have to get some little by little. They can't go five-yard routes, but you don't have to get it all back. You can't get a 23-point touchdown. Right, so you got to try to chop the ball down the field, and hopefully you can get a stop on defense. There it is. You see what I mean? Absolutely. Right? That's a 25 yard gain where now we can get to moving and getting down the field. And if we get in the end zone, now we can help. hope that our defense can get a stop. Liv, you're down there on the SFE sideline. What's good down there? Yeah, they look pretty locked in. They look pretty locked in. I think the uh, the defensive coaches are pretty intense right now, trying to get them to stay focused. But uh, the offense is pretty locked in. I haven't seen much celebration over here. So it's, it's all business over here. The thing that they don't want to do is get relaxed, right? Because you can still have big plays and, and have this game get out of hand and, and, and go and set uh, fast Houston's favor. And that's what SFE doesn't want to do. So the coaches are staying intense. And like you said, the, the celebrations, it's getting into true, true competition. Right, pool play's almost over. It's going to be over soon. They want to make sure they're primed and ready for that single elimination on Sunday. <laughs> I was going to say, day one, day one, we saw foam pit after foam pit. Yeah. We saw some props. We saw some moonwalks, some gritties. We saw all. Today, SFE putting up points, all business, no play. I think they took that loss yesterday personal, right? Remember, at the end of the game, there was a bunch of commotion and, and, and questions on yep, what was going yep. on. And they took it personally and took it upon themselves to go back to the hotel, regroup, and now they come out and look like a machine. So yesterday with Fast Houston, one of their issues I saw, the quarterback has a little bit of a long release, right? And so when you have a long release, it gives the defense time and these talented five stars to see where you're going with the ball and then react, right? So it, 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 it's at a disadvantage because the defense can just break on your balls and, and tag right away so you can't get as much run after catch. Holding a sizable lead right now. Drops back. Oh, he's Little got caught. We got a flag on the play here. We got him on a sack, I think. Four, was that four seconds? Yeah, they, they, got, it, they got him yep, on a sack, and him, that's turn over on down. Sheesh, 25 nothing. I heard a little chatter from the fast Houston coach just now on that last play, and he seems very 
optimistic. He's very encouraging. He doesn't seem like he's lost any faith in his team. So a lot of respect from, just gained from the uh, Fast Houston coach on my end. Fast Houston isn't playing badly at all. I mean, we know that this F SFE team is as talented as any team here. And if they're playing right, they're going to be tough to beat. Oh, he's got him. He's got him. Wow. The one thing you don't want to see, you don't want to see quitting the team, right? And, and you got guys running wide open up the seams. You just can't allow that. But the quarterbacks for this SFE team are doing an outstanding, outstanding job of not only ball placement, but knowing exactly where to go with the ball at the right time. And, and as much as, you know, you see quarterbacks miss wide open guys, well, a quarterback has a lot to do, right? So it's a skill to find that wide open guy when a, when a coverage is busted. When your man in the slot is running right up the seam, it's tough to miss him. Jump ball, jump ball. Nice play there. That's by a 2023 prospect, Paul. Oh, hey, hey, KJ, help me, help me with that name there. Paul Omadia. Yeah, he does a great job of walling the, the, the receiver off. And so when you're a DB, you want to have the receiver, then you, and then the ball. Right? The receiver, then you, the ball. If you're in between the ball and the receiver, then you have a great chance of success. He does a great job, rides him out of bounds, bats the ball down. Got, the one his, thing got they, his head around, too. The one thing they want to do, though, is catch those for interceptions. So now you can start to come back and, and, and really get a chance here. Got man in motion. Rolling out right. Hey, I feel like the Chiefs run that play every single time they're in the red zone. Maybe a little shovel pass to Kelsey normally. But that was not Travis Kelsey. That was Malachi Tony. <laughs> that was not Travis Kelsey. That was our guy, Malachi Tony. That's a very good job, right? I mean, that's about as easy as getting. He wasn't even looking. He wasn't even looking, but, I mean, he, obviously he's just so talented that as soon as the ball's there, He's got the spidey senses, right? His spidey senses were tingling, and he felt the ball coming. <laughs> Peter Parker, Peter Parker. Yeah, his name's Peter Parker rather than... Uh, oh, wow. Nice. Woo. Out of bounds. Oh, out of bounds? No good out of bounds. Zebra, you sure? You sure? <laughs> you sure, bro? You sure, bro? I don't, I don't know. know. From my angle, he looked like he was in. Live, right? That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, Liv, we're gonna, we're gonna trust you. Right, you're our partner. We believe in Liv, and so let's take a look right here. He goes up. Hell of a ball, by the way. Oh, Liv. he is out of bounds. Liv, he is out Liv. of bounds. You, 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 I'll take the L. Is there. I'll take the L. <laughs> you screwed us there, Liv. I'll take the L. <laughs> walk of shame, walk of shame. The, the girl with the mini mic. <laughs> oh. Wow, that defense. A little underthrown there, but the deep crossing route was nice. And he had a step on him. He had a step. He absolutely had a step. And that ball is late. Remember I talked about that long delivery, that long release. The receiver has five steps on the DB. And because the ball is late and way too high, hangs in the air, the DB does a great job of closing the distance and getting there before the ball does. And so it makes it super difficult with that long release, man. You have to be quicker with your decisions, similar to the SFB quarterbacks. Hey, you were, you were a quarterback. I was a shortstop. My coach always said that ball has to come up to your ear, yeah. you know? And he's bringing it all the way around. It's like a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar hook shot. Yeah, the Scott hook. <laughs> SFE has really opened it up, 31-0. Yeah. But I got to say, if I was on the SFE defense, I want the goose egg. I want the shutout. You got to preserve that shutout because they have this game right now. But if you hold the other team to zip, that's momentum. Yeah, without question, right? They came out with a point to prove, and I think that they are proving it right now. It, it's it's kind of fun to watch, right? It's fun to watch a team that you saw yesterday play so well and to come out and, and play the way they're playing oh, he's right got now. Him. That's a much better ball, right? That, that, that ball went, has to be caught, right? That go through his hands? Yeah, that went right through his hands, I, I think. So. Yeah, I thought from, so. From here, it looks like it went right through his hands. Still a little late, right? Because he was open so early. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, uh, both Jim Beckler and every great coach always talks about it. The further the receiver gets away, the less good that can happen, right? You want to get it to the receiver as quickly as you can when he's open. He doesn't do it there, but it still should be caught. I see you with your maize and blue there, a little Bo Schembeck. Yeah, you know, he Shem loved, he loved running the ball. That's yeah. why. <laughs> he loved running the ball. So he's like, you know what? Let's stop throwing the ball downfield. Hey, that's Big Ten football. Yeah. The final moments of the game. And then you're the fast use in defense. You're down 33 nothing, and all of a sudden Malachi Nelson goes right, down. right. Damn. You're fast used to in 30, what is it, 33 nothing, and, and here comes Malachi Nelson. <laughs> Try to back out there, taking two series off.
Oh, he's got his man. Oh, we see Malachi Nelson getting greedy. Absolutely. Hey, he's thinking the same thing you're saying. You're saying if you were back there, you'd be looking for Ennis every single time. Ennis wasn't even open there. Oh, look out. Wait, I know Ennis didn't just throw that. Oh, my God. Did you see that? That's why I said look out about it. He oh, did. my God. He's, He's got an arm. He too. can He's run. Like he hey. can catch. Hey. And he can pass. Hey, Liv, I should have said heads there. That's my bad. Yeah, that was – you. it's it's because I said Liv, it was inbounds and it and wasn't. It. You should have caught it, Liv. It was payback. Liv, you should have caught that missile that he threw. Well, I'm sorry. I wasn't – you know. Did you see the way he threw? You wouldn't have caught that. <laughs> I Come on now. Caught it. So this, Malachi Nelson's arm strength is such a skill because you can wait for so long and, and then you can throw the ball a little late. But the time's running out, and that is the game. He's trying to get another play, but that's the end. Not going to count, guys. Not going to count. Nice catch, though. Final score, SFE 33. Fast Houston, zero. Shut out. Tish. Hey, if you dig the content, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. We got more games coming your way, so don't go anywhere. Stay right here. From my guy Alex, Liv, I'm Devin Gardner. Catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace. If you love football and you're not in Las Vegas, I don't know what you're doing because right now the country's most elite seven on seven teams are here at the OT7 inaugural season. These star studded teams will be battling it out to get their hands on the trophy. But it won't be easy because it's a lot of heavy hitter teams out here. And tonight we got a David versus Goliath type of matchup between the local boys, low pro, up against the mighty. Midwest Boom repping Shot Town. I'm your host, former Michigan quarterback Devin Gardner, and I'm here with Tom, aka Overtime Tom. How we doing? Wait, first, I saw you running out with uh, look, Midwest look, look, Boom. Look, look. Are you a little biased? I mean, look, they're the coolest team here by far. Coach RJ, that's my boy. Cole Tessner gonna turn it up. Low Pro went one and one, zero and one yesterday. Very solid. But Midwest Boom, they've won national championships. This is our first loss yesterday since January. They come out here, ready to win. I'm, I'm hyped. I can't wait. Hey, we, we see who side you're on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not biased, though. Let's go, Boom. Come on, Boom. Let's go, Boom. Hey, come on, Boom. I, I love it, but I love an underdog story. Oh, I love man, come I saw on. West, Midwest Boom yesterday. They were great. But I want to see what this low pro they team They didn't play a team like this. They, they were at a, like a little this. late. They were at a little late. I want to see what they got here in Vegas. First play here, Cole. Easy. There you go. Hey, we got two quarterbacks here. Both of them on no stars, no offers. Former five star, number one dual threat quarterback in the country. What advice do you got for these guys? I, I mean, I talked to Cole Tishner and he said he's got a bit of a chip on his shoulder, right? He said, I, I got a lot of talent. And I talked to his coach. He said he's so under recruited and slept on. This is the perfect opportunity here in Las Vegas at OT7 to show what you got and get some of those offers that you want. Exactly. He's playing with a bunch of three and four stars. So I think he's going to turn up here. Right now, he's moving ball down the field. It's real nice. Yeah, so uh, yesterday we saw him taking the ball, driving it down yep. the field. And I imagine Low Pro saw that too, right? So they got yeah. everybody back. So he's just taking what the defense given and chopping away down the field. Bro, Low Pro, Low Pro they got to sleep in their own bed last night. Match about you know there. I know that. I see that. Here we go. Hey. Oh, here we got right coach. Here. Double drags. Work up. Work up. Hey, work up two months. Hey, hey. Are you, this, this might be a touchdown. Coach does a great job of relaying doing. his message, and they do a good job of following his plan. So you see they're going to have drags, right, so they get guys across yep. the field. And he told one guy, make sure you drag to about 12. Touchdown! Oh, I need a celebration. I need a celebration. Hey! Yo. The amount of backflips that I have seen this week. Dude, I'm just convinced that every gym class in America made backflipping a requirement. Because I don't know how to backflip. I'm sure you probably don't know how. No, no. I got about three or four friends that maybe know how. I mean, I'm, it's at the point where I think I could do it. Like, I've seen so many guys do it. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to do it. Tom, don't do it. Post game. Don't do it. If Low Pro wins, I'll do a backflip. All right, here we go. Well, that means here we go. But that's a great job, right? That's a throw in between the tight window. And that's that arm strength that we talk about. He's so Coach said he's similar to Josh Allen, right? And we can see the big arm with the perfect spiral gets right in between the defense for a touchdown and obviously the celebration. Got you. I'm not going to lie. The Josh Allen comp scares me. Yeah. That's I mean, crazy. Yeah. The, the, uh, it's more of the arm strength because Josh Allen is, is, is a great quarterback. A little fade here. Hey! Give me that! 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 Let's go! 
go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Tom, Tom, will you get a second? See what we hey! see down there! Hey! Let's get it, boys! Hell yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Easy. That's easy. I'm not biased, though, I swear. Hey, Tom, I know you're not biased, but how is the celebration down there? How's the celebration down there? Woo! Ready. Set, go. Damn, Dev. You see how high I got? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, you I, did get pretty high. I got at, very high. Hey, as, you, as you're talking and everybody's going, Low Pro has started on offense, and they got a big game to start. You know Low Pro's quarterback is like nine years old, right? Hey, so this is the thing, right? You got this young guy in here. He's amazing. And... I, it's it's tough, right? Coming into this atmosphere with all these talented guys, will he be overwhelmed, right? Will he be overwhelmed? Micah Eugenio, welcome to the show, big guy. He looks cool out there. Ooh. All right, so with more on Low Pro, we're going to go down to the third member of our broadcast, Liv Moves. What's the mood down there, Liv? Yeah, you mentioned Micah Eugenio. I actually had a chance to talk with him before the game started. I said, you guys have a lot to prove. You're kind of the underdogs. I know, Devin, you mentioned you love a good underdog. That is definitely low pro here. And when I asked him what they were hoping to accomplish in this game or what they were hoping to prove, he said, we can compete with anybody and size doesn't matter. So, Devin and Tom, I'm excited to see if size matters here on this next play. Yeah, absolutely, Liv. I mean, Micah Eugenio, he's a 2026, so that means he just finished eighth grade what? about a week ago. I don't know how last. Nice pass. They're hey, not nervous at all. I don't even think he's gone to his eighth grade graduation yet. He hasn't even entered high school, and he is throwing dots already. Were you already a, a prospect in eighth grade? Were people watching him in eighth grade? Oh, no. I wasn't that good. Come on. This kid, he's going to Bishop Gorman next year. Came out to Vegas, one of the best schools in the country. I got a lot of respect for him. I'm not going to lie. I love, I love the anticipatory fashion in which he throws the ball. And when I say that, I mean he anticipates where his receivers are going, and he doesn't wait for them to come open, right? He's yep. doing a good job of that, at least at the onset. And that's going to prove really well against this talented Boone oh, Robinson. Oh, oh. There we go. Good stop by the defense there. Boone's got a lot of studs on defense. I feel like they're always flying around. They got a lot of guys that move in and out. I love it. You ever play defense? Yeah, when I was No, they 10. didn't let you play defense. They were like this. When I was 10 and I was bigger than everybody. <laughs> I'm not running into anybody now. You know, I don't think it's smart. Defense, you choose to start off behind. Yep. Who would start a yep. race behind? I'm way smarter than that. <laughs> oh, man. Are we going to get a touchdown here? I can feel it. There it is. Wow, Bang. wide open. Great play there. <laughs> hey, your boys are in it. Liv Moon said it. She said, Micah Eugenio is not worried about anybody. He loves the underdog mentality, and he drives right back down right after Midwest Boom and puts the ball in the end zone. Let's see if he can get the extra point. I'm not going to lie. If Boom doesn't step up on defense, I might go out there. <laughs> Put me at Mike. Let me run around, get a couple deflections, get in quarterback's head. This is a nice play. It's a great job directing traffic, right? Telling the guy to go. Yep. They're going for two. Ooh. There you go. Wow. Hey, can I ask you something? Why would you ever not go for two? It's, a, it's actually easier when you're further away, right? Because right. you get more distance to run, I don't more, get it. more opportunity for the defense to, to, to mess up. But when it's close, it's so tight, there's no combination. Yep. But I'm just going to tell you right now, we blinked, and it's now 8-8. Eight, eight. The underdogs, low pro, went down and responded, and now Midwest Boom is back on O. Hey, I'm not a big defensive guy. The more points, the better. Hopefully, there's like a 97-point <laughs> game. I'm trying to break records out here with points. Tom, I mean, you hate betting the under, don't you? Tom doesn't like betting We're unders, I can already tell. Number 12, looking real confident out there. Good catch. I haven't seen a drop yet. I, I think Coach did that on purpose. He didn't want us to know what he was running. Yeah, he kept he was like, cut it, cut, cut it, cut it, cut it. You heard him already <laughs> initially say, hey, let's see how they handle something nice and short, right? Yep. Let's get the ball out quick and let them respond to that first. There you go. Oh, he was open out the scene. Hey, he said, nice let's see how they respond. And they responded. Hey, Coach RJ, not liking that play. Look, he, he's upset. I don't want to mess with Coach RJ. All right? Yeah, he's pretty jacked. He's pretty jacked playing the NFL. Yeah, he's pretty jacked. He, um, he asked me if he could tackle me before the game. I said no. Oh, don't be a coward, Tom. Don't let him tackle you. The, the thing is, is like I, I like living. Like I'm, I'm a super big fan of being alive. <laughs> super big fan. Yeah, I'm pretty pumped about it. So yeah. I, uh, I decided, yeah, let me at least watch the rest of OT7. At least. Yeah. <laughs> Give yeah. me Sunday night. Sunday night, yeah. you get you. 
Woo! There you go. That's good. Man, I love the way Low Pro is playing defense, right? It's almost at four seconds. Oh, no, nope. they might have gave him the sack. Can I tell you yeah. right? no Turnover. He's playing great defense, and it's taking the quarterback a lot of time to find an open guy. And right there, he took too long. No, I got zero patience for penalties. I, I don't even know. Well, it wasn't flag. a penalty. It was a sack. Well, he threw a flag. Well, it's a sack, though. It wasn't a penalty. It was well, a sack. So when they, when they have a sack, they just throw a flag to let them know that the play is dead. I'm not a big fan of sacks. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Who gets that what? stat? Henry or sack, guess what? I don't care what happens, low pro's back on offense. <laughs> uh, which uniforms do you like in more here? Uh, I'm, I'm a fan of the highlighter. I like you gotta the love the highlighter. I like oh. the basic red, though, especially when you... Hey! Yo, yo, that's Thunderbird. Do you know who Thunderbird is? Can you imagine having the name Thunderbird? I know that he flew through the air like a bird to go get that ball. So Coach Lee, before the game, I was like, where's Thunderbird? Like, I got to know Thunderbird is. And he's like, number 20. He's way faster than he looks. So wait till you get a chance to see how they play coverage, right? He's the half safety. And whenever he's the half safety, the middle is wide open. But he does a great job of coming out of the half and crossing the field to go pick that ball up. That is talent. That's Ed Reed esque, yes. where you are doing one thing and you go help your team out and do something else for interceptions. And a DB Three with points. hands, almost never see that. I love watching NFL games when DBs just drop interceptions because they suck with their hands. <laughs> Thunderbird, you got hands. Ooh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh Similar no! Similar to that, oh, right? No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right in the hands, you gotta catch you know. that. You gotta catch that. You gotta go get those three points back, huh? What do you think about being playing quarterback with shades on? Uh, the thing with playing quarterback and stage on, I don't love it as far as trying to be cool, yep. but I love it when they can't see your eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so when I was a quarterback, helps. you couldn't no, wear it. Here, go, here, go. here we go. Let's look, let's look right in here. First. Give me digs to 12 yards. You got to push it. Same thing, Carter. Tight slot, though. Tight slot. Right, so digs are deep in routes, right? Yep. So they're going to go 12 yards and then come straight across the but field. Both they guys? Had, they had a lot of success with this yesterday. Let's see if they still have that same I'm success. I'm more of a dig post guy myself. There it is. Oh, wow. They were right. I was wrong. Oh, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. I don't like when you touch my players like that, all right? Is that a touchdown? That's a nice catch. So what I like to call those are combat catches, right? And the reason is, obviously, yep, he's in combat. combat with another man, right? That guy is trying to destroy him in seven-on-seven -seven football, <laughs> but he still finds a way to hang on to the ball. How about that? And he's in the end That's a touchdown. Ball. Let's get it. Touchdown, Midwest Boom. I love my squad. That's insane. They ruled them right outside the end zone, but that is a touchdown. Hopefully they get in. I, I told you I hate refs. I think they should ref their own games themselves. Let, let me ref the game. Throw on some pinstripes. Yes, exactly. Be a little, little zebra out there. You don't think I could do it? I mean, you, you go get you a shirt, man. I'm sure they'll Yo, let you. The reason you I have a sword, so I'm I, sure they'll let they'll, they'll you. They'll listen to me. They'll listen to me. You have a lightsaber. Hey, you. Oh, man. Just go take, hey, man, take off your shirt. I'm doing it. <laughs> Ah, uh, see, I hate the. Uh, I hate when it's already. Ring the doorbell, but nobody. So because home. they spotted him so close, this yep. is more difficult to get in the end zone. Oh no, they gave it to him. They did. They, they did. They, they okay. They didn't mess it up. They right, didn't give good. him a touchdown. I, I was literally about to leave. You were gonna do this all on your own. I was about to say that was an awful job by the referees, but they got it right. So the reason I asked about Cole Shades, I looked at his Instagram before this game. Okay. What you see? What you see? What you find out? There's never been a person invited to more proms than Cole Teshner. <laughs> He's been to 97 proms in spring 2022, okay? So basically what you're saying is the ladies are treating him like he's already Josh Allen. <laughs> I just think he has so many suits and tux ideas and the shades at all times. I kind of liked it. All right, if that's his brand, that's his thing. In the, in the day and age of NIL, I don't see why not. I am pretty nervous that we didn't get that little two-point conversion there, right? 17-10, Midwest, boom. I need a few more touchdowns, I think. I mean, I just love, I just love how <laughs> overtime time is actually <laughs> overtime midwest boom time. <laughs> Yo, coach slipped me like a hamburger and 50 bucks before the game. He was like, come on, get boys, my boys, back. Boys, I was like, all right, back. Hey, hey, Liv, Liv, do you also have a, a dog in the fight? Because obviously our partner Tom here is a midwest boom guy. Don't make me throw this sword at you. <laughs> yeah, I think he's, you, you you're, you're kind of got your emotions in this right now. You're not supposed to do that. 
I'm always looking for an underdog story. So okay. I gotta go. I gotta go with Low Pro on this so, one. I like so we that. gotta live with Low Pro, where this young guy, yep. he's about to make a name years for old. himself. He's about to make a name for himself. <laughs> Eugenio is putting this ball exactly where it needs to be against some of the best talent in the country. That's how you get recruited, right? A lot of kids come to me, hey Devin, how'd you get recruited? Yep. Well, when the time is right and you got you got eyes on you, perform. Period. Everybody will see it in what bigger stage than OT7. How old were you when you got your first offer? Oh! There we go, quick. Nice. That I mean, this young kid is really surprising me. Boom used their one blitz yep. because they wanted to try to get him. He recognizes it right away, dumps it right over the defense, and picks up yards. That's something that we saw that the 2023 quarterbacks yesterday weren't able to uh, do, and, and that's that's impressive. But uh, to answer your question, I was a sophomore. First offer was the Michigan Ready. State, then Notre Dame, then Michigan. That was so chill how you said that. Yeah, wow, casual, nice casual. run. Yeah, I got my first offer. Oh, did that touchdown? Wow. They're, you know, these refs, again, I'm not to like, I, I know I'm probably going to get in trouble for hey, questing the refs. They're terrible at putting their hands No, it wasn't. Off La ladies and gentlemen, Micah Eugenio. I just want you to remember that name because he is showing that he belongs, right? Only in the eighth, well, maybe just graduated eighth grade, right? Because yep. he's here in Vegas. I don't know how long they stay in school. He probably, he probably finished a week ago. The graduation is on Monday, but. No, no, no. Yes. He yeah. fell down. Yeah. Fell down, got up. Low pro He's on so, the board. He is chill. Micah is chill, I'm not going to lie. He's wearing sweatpants out here. Do you know how hot it is out here? It's like 9,000 degrees. Micah Eugenio. Once again, sees his receiver fall down, holds it back, and then gives a nice soft toss, toss to have another touchdown on the board. You said you were nervous yes, about sir. that two-point conversion not being converted. Nah. Let's see if it hurts you here. I I'm not worried about this two-point conversion, but I am worried about Coach RJ. I'm going to go ask him how he feels about his team sucking yeah, right go, now. Go make, sure. go make sure. Go make sure I know they're going to step out. it up. I know they're going to step it up. You see how now the overtime time is not looking good. He says, this is not good. How this is, is not your team it. doing? It's not his team anymore. Oh. oh, damn, that was a good flip. And he stuck the landing. He went front flip and stuck the landing. Lit moves. You got to figure we got, out where Coach, they're good? learning this stuff. We're good? I'm nervous, though. All right, where, where are we going here on this first play? Okay. What do we got on this first play here? Micah, Eugenio, how you feeling? I need, I need something. You mentioned size doesn't Don't matter. You still the feel the same? Yeah, okay. Awesome. Oh, he was right! He was right! He was right! Yeah, take it to the house. Uh -oh. He was right! Where's Coach at? That'll do it. Oh! Jail never lies. Damn! Legends! But Tom, Tom, I need this Tom, two points though, okay? Tom, why was that too fast? Was that too fast? Because Coach said he wanted to milk some of the time off and allow the the the, 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 the low pro team not to get another chance because from what we can see, Micah Eugenio has no pressure on him and he's gonna maybe go down and score again. I, I just can't believe I was ever nervous. I can't believe I ever got nervous here. Was that too fast? He did tell me he was gonna milk the clock. Was that, would, that too fast? Because his plan, like you said, was to milk the clock. And now they got to make sure they get this extra point as well. well. You know what I say? It's never a bad thing to be amazing. Wow. That was a, that was amazing. What a throw and what a catch. That, that's what we call threading the needle. I'm not worried here. I think Thunderbird might come up with another touchdown. How much time we got left? 345. Jeez. Look. Right, so 345. This may be, if they milk the clock some, this may be the last drive of the game as we take another look at this absolute dart. Oh, look at our camera crew. Oh my goodness. How about OT7's angle? Yo, I heard we have 97 cameras here. Or 97,000 I mean, cameras. Their rating on Madden is 99. <laughs> oh man. Yo, shout out to the camera crew working in 500 degree weather. Michael Eugenio back at the helm. All right, there we go. That's I okay. love that though. I love that get, from the young started. quarterback, not trying to get all of it back on one play, right? Hey, hey take what they give you yep. and continue to play the way you played all day because it's worked great for you. I don't know though. An eighth grader trying to lead this last, you know, last three minute drive here. Hey, Liv Moves. Liv Moves, you talk to Eugenio. How's he feeling about this right. game winning drive? I gotta be honest, I was expecting a little more excitement from him uh, after jumping in the pit, but again, he is definitely staying locked in. We're getting a little, we're getting, I think he knows he's the underdog just like everybody else does. So he's, he's focused. I love it, man. You know, you, 
Tom Brady is, is famous for not being too high, not being too low, right? Not being too high, not being too low. And as a quarterback, you have to have a short memory. Kind of like me in the third grade. It was the best two years of my life. Yo, there's nothing I love more than comparing a 12-year-old to Tom Brady. The next Tom Brady, we just found him. It seems Damn. weird oh, that you were okay with the comparison of Josh Allen to the quarterback of your team, but you didn't like that the mentality of Tom Brady was compared to a guy who's no, in no, the I, biggest tournament in the seven on seven. I do love it. Oh, okay. Hey, sure. look, I'm gonna I'm use that sure. next overtime Instagram caption. This is the next Tom Brady. I'm gonna get roasted in the comments. Why would you I love say it. that? That's taking it too far. I love it. We just had, we just had a big penalty Having the mentality there. of Tom Brady is exactly what you want. And, yes. and do you see a more poised kid out here? This is an eighth grader who's coming to lead a game-winning drive, and he's looking almost perfect. I'll, I'll give you the secret, okay? I know I told you that I love Boom and all this stuff. The real reason I'm against Low Pro is they don't have jer numbers on their jerseys. Oh. You know how hard it is to pick out people without numbers on their jerseys? It is, it is difficult. <laughs> that might have been too fast. That might have been too fast. I'm nervous. So it's difficult to find the number, but we know who the quarterback is. Michael Eugenio possibly, we don't know for sure, possibly just led a game-winning drive no. at OT7 in Las Vegas as an eighth grader whose graduation is probably on Monday. I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up everywhere. He's going to throw up all over the field. Look at the case. He doesn't even celebrate. He's like, yeah, good. I was supposed to do that. I want to uh, take you. I, I want to take you guys back to to what I said when I talked to him before the game. He said size doesn't matter. I actually think size is helping them in this game. I mean, they are they are moving quick and they are getting in the end zone way easier than I could have imagined. Oh, no. And there we oh, no. go. All right, we're tied. Liv, I think you're right because I'm exhausted watching that. How many? You did like nine games yesterday. Hey, so the cool thing about this, this game will have to end in a tie if, no. if Midwest Boom doesn't score because in pool play there's no overtime. Yeah. So 24-24, the play starts. I, I think we go arm wrestle if there's a if there's a tie. Does the time stop here? No. Oh come on, jeez. Running clock, 24 <laughs> seconds, 23. 22. They gotta hurry up and get a play call. Come on, Cole. And practice Come on, Cole. is what helps here because they know what they're gonna run. Oh my God! What oh a my play! God. Oh my God. Oh my God. This might be the last play. This is the last play here. We got. Oh my. What a play! And this is the last play of the game. I don't want to tie. Get up and get it. Get up and get it. Wow! I told you. We're the best team in America! We're the best team in America! Boom! 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 Yeah! What a finish! Here oh, at that's OT what we do. seven, but that does it. Seven, I can't hey, last play that's touchdown. what we do. Touchdown. Oh wow, they're talking smack now. That's what One I'm talking about. Play. That's what I'm talking about. One more opportunity. The ball is up, and it's a head Yo, tap. Touchdown, Midwest <laughs> Boom hey, for how was that? the win. How'd you catch that? Hold on, wait, hold on. Easy. Hold on, wait a minute. Well, guys, that's it. Midwest Boom wins it. Over the local low pro, low pro, 30 to 24. If you dig that content, coach, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. We have got so much more to give you today, so don't go anywhere for Tom, Liv, and your own Devin Gardner. Catch y'all next time. Peace. Man, we got five stars, we got four stars, we got NFL players, we got celebs all here in Vegas. It's part of OT7's inaugural season. That's right, the best 18 7 on 7 teams in the country battled out to get their hands on a championship trophy. This will be a one of the kind 7 on 7 league you do not want to miss. And tonight we got a great matchup between my home, Miami Immortals, versus level 82. Yes, MMG sir. was good. Hey, what's good, y'all? We're happy to be here. It's going to be yes, very sir. exciting under the bright lights in Vegas. Yes, sir. It's getting colder. The weather conditions mm -hmm. are perfect. I'm excited to tell you about the matchup. So, level 82 Let coming from Baltimore, Maryland. Mm. Former NFL wide receiver and two time Super Bowl champion Torrey Smith is the coach. And Torrey Smith had to say, We are the underdogs, and the effort is non negotiable. Negotiable. And Miami Immortals, this game got pushed back because Miami came in on a private jet. What? That is how bad PJ? they wanted to be here. Live, tell us about them. 
Yeah, I'm standing in front of the Immortals right now. Not only do they have the sickest uniforms out of anyone here, but yes, they just flew in today on a private jet. The energy that they brought in, they brought a speaker. I mean, this That's team great. is lit. I'm very excited. These might be a favorite of mine, and it's not just because of the pink uniforms. Hey, is the it, pink unis the are jet? swaggy, I'm not gonna lie. Pink yeah. purple. <laughs> Who you got winning, bro? I wanna take Miami. Mm. I wanna take Miami mm. here. I do too. Hey, I'm gonna go down to the field level, man. I gotta see this in person. Ooh. Oh! Early throw. Level 82 out of there, quick. Oh, man. Ask in that. Get it right, let's go. Tighten up, Corey. Oh, yeah. Level 82 came out shooting fast. They got trips on the right. Oh, yeah. Oh. Good, but he's open. Oh, Ooh, shifty. He's by himself, bro. You know, D, we always talk about they want to do the deep bombs on these first plays, but, you know, level 82 Man. coming out methodical Why? throwing short. Why but, hey, them boys are smart about it, bro. They're not so aggressive. That's right. They're not so aggressive. And they said they got the number one corner in 2022 on the Immortals right now, too. Okay. Let's see if that shows up. Level 82 doesn't 2024, care. my bad. 2024. He's a youngin'. Oh. Right across the oh. middle. Oh. We're seeing a little collision. And he told that boy to Put get the big. pads on him. <laughs> Jonathan, Jonathan Smith. Smith. Nice snap. No jinx over there. Bring your head gear that I gave you all before the game. Here we go. Let's see what they're drawing up in here. Let's see what they're drawing up. Let's see what Tori drawing up. Level 82 having no issues moving down the field right now. Oh, referee's timeout. Frustration from the coaching right here, staff go. right now. Line up. Go, right here, right here. Uh, go, line and up. I think the nerves are getting to level 82 Clock's a little running, bit bro. right now. They took time off the clock to what? Put the helmets on? It works in their favor if they're about yeah. to score. Oh, yeah. Next level strategy oh, yeah. is right oh, over yeah. the middle. And an oh, early yeah. touchdown oh, for short. level no, he's 82. He's short. He's short. He's short. He's short? They mark him short. Hey, take it all back. It was just a prank. The cameras are right there. Somebody's mouthpiece on the floor. Beautiful tight spiral right into the middle. Miami Immortals are struggling to stop the short ball. Makes me wonder if they're expecting that deep bomb like we've seen so much of. Miami Immortals, man. Come One on. yard to go for level 82. Hold it down for the crib, man. Let's see what they got. Drops back. He's looking. Back middle. There it is. Touchdown, number 16, level 82. A beautiful, methodical drive from level 82. You love to see it. Hey, Liv, what that look like over there? Ooh, it's lit over here. It's lit, it's turning. It's next turnt. next team that gets in this celebration pit, I'm joining them, so. <laughs> that boy Richard Dennis with the snag in the back of the end zone. Makes it look too easy. I don't think teams want to jump in the pit anymore, man. Well, too, well, too bad, so sad, because I'm trying to get in there. <laughs> and I want to do it I want to do it with a team. I want to celebrate. Just do it by yourself, Liv. Nobody's Just jump you. in, bro. We got you. <laughs> <laughs> Level 82 going for the 10 yard conversion. That'll be two points if they can snag it. Beep, 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 smell a whistle. Of course, they're on offense. Loss of downs. That's a six point on, lead boys. for Level 82 as Miami Immortals take over on offense. Are we going to have a slug out here? Have a little shootout? I need y'all boys to get right, Let's man. I need y'all boys to get right, Miami. Yeah. 6-0. I'm surprised they didn't come out with the bomb. Hey, hopefully Miami Immortals come out with the bomb. It was smart, though. I think everybody expects these deep, deep throws. No, no. So you start no. throwing the slants and the drags, and all of a sudden he's down the field and he got six points on the board. He should look to his passing strength first. Yeah, I like the little baseball jersey the QB has. If he ain't looking to his passing strength, then we'll change You got pink uniforms. You're going deep on the first play. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I'd like to see it. Let's see it. Oh, too many whistles. Ball start. Ball start on the offense. Oh, really? Miami Immortals starting at a second down. That's a loss of downs right there. Mm. I just got some word that the quarterback's from Jacksonville. He has two state titles and he's a freshman. That's crazy. And he's a freshman? I don't know how that's possible. But I don't know math very <laughs> well, but that's wild. <laughs> that's crazy. The boy playing high school in the seventh grade or something? Eighth grade? <laughs> 
Maya Immortals first offensive snap. Deep oh, drop back. Oh, he's got to be easy. Right easy. over. Oh! Hey, that's seven on seven. That's a flag that. for sure. Throw that. Throw Yikes. That. Throw that. Throw that. That's a hard hitting safety too, though. I ain't going to lie to you. What about back up? In game? In pass? Headgear. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, that's why you got to wear some headgear, man. That is why we wear headgear, Yeesh. ladies and gentlemen. Yeesh. Feet. Oh my God. Mm. What happens? I don't, I don't think it What looked, happens now? I don't think it looked. Uh, that's flagrant. like they should put them 15 yard penalty. That should ball. be a 15 yard penalty. It was. <laughs> I'm glad he wasn't ejected, though. I don't think he should have. God. That's why. <laughs> well, we're in for a game, ladies and gentlemen. Damn. Immortals move down the field, down to the 25. It's six to zero, but they're marching. Yeah, Deep drop back. Post, He's looking post. across the middle. Uh, Spectacular breakup. Straps, number 19. Got a seatbelt on that boy. Mm-hmm. Straps. Mm -hmm. Level 82 looking dominant right now. Liv, I'm hoping off of this drive, somebody makes their way over to you <clears throat> and hops in that pit. <laughs> All right. And with the beautiful baseball outfit, Colin Hurley, that's our quarterback for the Immortals. Where's my boy Jaden at, man? That is such drip, dude. Jaden Rashad is supposed to be, you feel me? I'm so jealous of the quarterbacks. They wear whatever they want. Yeah. I'll be surprised if a quarterback comes out in just like a full Gucci suit or something. I saw a guy in a full Spider-Man costume. Yeah, I did too. He's did just too. chilling, dude. Oh! oh what a ball. That was smooth. What Shoot! a ball! Is he in? Is he in? What a ball! Was that a touchdown? Oh, they marked him down. Oh. You were a couple fingertips away from the nastiest highlight in OT7. Hey, let's take another look, bro. Let's look, bro. This. That boy, oh my goodness. From field level, he's not that tall, but he stretched for that one. Mm -hmm. Hey, beautiful uh -huh. ball. Beautiful ball. Boy, Eddie. Ooh, fingertips. And oh, he won another a one. flag he won on the one. play. He the receiver's another one. hot. I see where they're going to him. We got a holding on the defense. That's going to be five yards in favor of the Immortals. That boy won another and one. they can reset. He won another one. Mm -hmm. You got to respect that, dude. You love to see a play like that. Got to be one of the shortest guys out on the field right now. Hey, don't sleep on the short guys. he's making all the plays. Usually the short guys are very fast. Look at his legs. Look at it. Huh. He's getting up there, too, so he's very explosive. I don't want to say Tyreek Hill, but I want to say Tyreek Hill. <laughs> Did they give him a player comparison? I feel like he could dunk low key. And he's Absolutely. probably like, what, 5'7? Yeah. From here, I don't know. Hey, oh yeah, look at that. Tuck it a tourism. Play clean, my boy. I think they're going to him again. Single yeah. coverage on our boy. Ooh, Easy. beautiful Easy. throw. Easy. And that's a touchdown, Easy. Miami Immortals. Jalen Brown, spectacular catch in the back right corner of the end zone. Could not have been a better ball. It's six to six. We've got a BAT coming up, and Miami Immortals an opportunity to take the lead in this game. Liv, you had an amazing view of that catch back there. Was it beautiful or was it beautiful? Going press coverage. Don't they let him go. I need to interview from him. Same play, other oh. side. And he sails it. Yeah. Too much weight room. Can be a thing. We've got ourselves a six to six ball game. It's all tied up, coming down to 10 minutes. A little bit of heat on that ball, man. Uh huh. A little too much heat. It's anybody's game. And we pass 11 minutes. Hey, Liv, I heard you over there with somebody special. You looking for him. Where he at? I got to talk to the man. He got on the board. She's chasing him. That boy's fast. He's chasing him. Level 82 might be taking the first deep oh, shot. Nice wheel route. Ooh, nice wheel route. Beautiful wheel route. 
Oh my god. 25 yards for level 82, wasting no time getting level down the field. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Beautiful passes. First and short. Physical. All right, so we can kind of take a little shot right here. Mm. Right? Look at Be this. Smart, what a snap. Liv, what do you got for us? Quite the impressive TD from you. Listen, I saw you guys walk in. You had the speaker. I heard you were on a jet this morning. Miami, I've heard Miami's different. They got a whole separate culture out there. So what kind of culture are the Immortals hoping to bring to OT7? Uh, just basically a, a, a swagger that nobody's ever seen before. Uh, we always going to be the loudest. We always going to be the one in the spotlight. We always going to do it big. Okay, you have the spotlight right now. Show me your best celebration no, dance. I'm not the dancer, you feel me? <laughs> well, okay, okay, let me ask you this. Who's got the best gritty on your team? The gritty? <laughs> oh, I love this. Yeah, definitely Ferrer. Ferrer probably got the best. So I got to find him later? Yeah, number one right. on defense. You feel All me? Right. My All right. Let's go. I got you. I'm going to look for him. Yeah. Best of luck. Keep it up. There we go. Hey, love to hear that from the Immortals, but as it was going down, level 82, it's a beautiful corner route, the back left to the end zone. They're back up on top. 12 to 11. I like level 82, man. I ain't gonna lie, I never seen a lot of level 82, but the boys are zone. But they got another missed opportunity. Ball started on a two-point conversion. We got to capitalize on those boys. Absolutely. In a game like this where they keep scoring, defense is almost non-existent. Good looks. Good looks. I got to find Fred. I'm trying to see that gritty. Somebody said, is it Fred? Number one on, on defense. That's right. I'm looking gritty. for him. We I'm going to find him. That. I, gotta, I might have the gritty battle on that thing. I, yeah, can't, I can't leave this field until I've seen Fred do the gritty. You can't leave until you see mine, Liv. It's one of the best you've ever seen. We should all have a gritty competition. <laughs> a gritty off. Uh oh. oh With yeah. single coverage left oh, side. Yeah. He's got oh, it off. Oh yeah. Deep ball. Wow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Brandon yeah. win down the left sideline. Hey man, that was six so to nice. twelve. Yeah, we got a <laughs> In the bucket, my dog's dripped <laughs> out. That is making oh, snacks. Uh, is it bucket help? It's, it's like 2K. You get like yeah. plus, plus three catch or bucket, something. Plus two catch, <laughs> plus two speed. Hey, respect. We love to see it. Yeah. And Mortals look like they're about to go back up on the board. I think they whoever can the get a PAT is going to win this Mortals game. The they're knocking on the door. Nobody's getting a PAT right you. now. And they make a play. Five oh. yards to the end zone. They got three plays. It's all but six points for the Immortals. Yeah. But He's cross, looking but down the middle. Cross. There it is. And that is Time. a sack. Time. No fly Time. zone. Level 82. You know, I ain't a quarterback, but I seen that cross around coming open. I would have let it fly. <laughs> but in this league, you don't got to throw the ball. You just lose it down. Yep. You feel me? He's got four seconds to throw, and level 82 is able to hold for those four seconds. Seven minutes on the clock. And we'll see if level 82 can hold here. That's going to be the difference in a game like this. I'm a gunslinger. I would have let it fly, bro. <laughs> I would have let it fly too. <laughs> the cameras were not. Yeah, I would throw it back. I can promise you. I'll probably would do it. Can we kick a field goal on someone? <laughs> right? <laughs> we could both hit this. So the guy looking oh. back. Ooh, and no one oh, is covering wow. the short route. Easy. That boy was easy. That boy was so open. Left the flats. Antoine Mays finds himself absurdly open. I think the amount of crazy catches we've seen has got everybody antsy. I know. They're playing know. back, looking for that deep ball, and he leaks Nobody out. Nobody want to get hit to finds here, man. it. What I find interesting in a game like this, 12 Look how to open. 12. Look how open, bro. He could have sat down. He could have read a book back there. He could have checked his Instagram he DM. Should've. And then looked up and caught the ball. <laughs> he could have made a TikTok. Are we winning? <laughs> Are we winning? <laughs> Can I say that? Oh, 12 man. to 12. I find interesting. They're going for the two point PAT. Despite it being a tie ball game, I'm no mathematician, but I go from the three and take a point, no? I don't know, man. I don't You got to so. win it. I don't play. I you just spectate. It, and. Ah, uh, yeah, you should have gone. <laughs> <laughs> Hindsight is 20 20, I tell you what. You should have gone from the three. You should have gone from the three. <laughs> 12 to 12 still. Whoever's got the ball oh. last on offense is going to take this I got to see Fred Gritty. Fred, I got to see that Gritty, boy. <laughs> YouTube? Oh, I got to see it. Fred saying we got to see his Gritty, man. <laughs> 
I want to see everybody's, dude. Red saying we got to see. You don't want to see mine, I'll tell you that. Frederick. Yes, oh, yeah, let's see what level 82 do. Throw that deep. Oh, yeah. Under route, under route, under route. Ooh. I thought I love he was going to smack him again, this bro. Is. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I love thought it. he was going to put the shoulder down again. Mm -hmm. No, no look at the route, bro. Yeah, it have been wide open. Number two was open, bro. He was bro, freaking up. Let's just make the same thing you're thinking. Let me get in front, bro. You can't really see me. Ain't no way to get in front, bro. Make the play. That boy was Here we go. Line up. Yeah. H, X, Y, L. Switch. Yeah. Y and L, F, switch. Go. Go. Hurry up. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Level 82 dialing up a big play here. Under five minutes. It's all tied up. Easy. Another short one, super Ooh, open. Ooh, he's so fast. Uh, Beautiful open field uh, running. Move See, a lot the of these teams change. are watching the deep ball, but that boy Jonathan Smith is just chilling right here. with the check down. Same shit. Switch, Throw it to him and he's going to make a play with his feet. Let's go. Yeah. Sheesh, Hurry he's up. Fast. He's fast. Coach speeding him up. They got to hurry. Level 82 is knocking on the door. I Ooh. see one. Oh, clean underneath. Yeah, he's, he's checking down, bro. He's fundamental. Yeah. I respect it. Both these teams really Here want to win. We're down no. in second No down. crazy passes, no Here bad passes. Here we go. I feel like he's trying Open to waste time. time. He's trying to bleed yeah. the clock a little Let's bit. Go. Mm. Here we go. What a work. It's that same thing, same thing, same thing. I heard him. You see where your matchup is. Let's go. Four minutes left. Oh. Drops back. He's looking deep. Oh. No. Oh, hey, we got a, a, a part of staff catching that. I was about to say, he's tagged it, too. <laughs> he's tagged it. He, he toe tapped the imaginary toe tap. <laughs> what team he played for? He need to get suited up. Sign this man. Wait, can we Look see him? Bro. Look, Sign this man. Now. Sign this man. He's getting that super max. Hey, Liv, you got to go interview him. I know, I sure do. He's got hands. <laughs> He got that immortal swag, man. Yeah. Third yeah. down. If level 82 can't convert here, this is false a turnover. Start. And it was coming for the blitz. They was coming for the blitz, start too. Off sides. Flag on the Ooh, play. False, false start. start on the offense. I found that is a Fred. crucial time to make a mental mistake. That's two points for Miami Immortals. Loss of downs for the turnover. And I don't know. Mm. It's going to be tough to climb back in this one. You need now an interception. Immortals are on offense now, too. Mm -hmm. They can, oh, man. you get one first down here, and you can shoot this clock to the end of the game. So level 82 is going to have to make a serious defensive stop here. DBs in press coverage. They can feel the pressure. They know how close this game is. They know how little time there is. Easy Beautiful zig route. Oh! <laughs> he is him. 80 G, sheesh. Hey, earlier I seen the boys. They was like, hey, number three is going to go viral. Just watch. <laughs> hey, he's, he's making a take hey, today. Listen to me. Listen to me, Jaden. You either got a corner or out. Oh, who's a W? My goodness. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's so hard. Uh, 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 Connor, dude. Oh, oh. This is one hand touch football, people. You just got to get a finger on it. That's incredible. Not even close. Uh huh. Not even close. My Mortis all but locked this one up. He's gonna throw deep. Head top. Ooh. Head top. Head top. Oh, we have time. And unfortunately, time? that is a sack. Oh. I believe the quarterback did not get it off. Ah, Liv, Liv, how are things looking for you over there? <laughs> yeah, so so I found the uh, one and only Fred. So you, you've been Fred. a very talked about individual. One of your teammates said you have the meanest gritty on the Immortals. Is Let's this, see is it. Is this true? This is fact. Okay, well, I got to see it. Talk, see it. Don't, don't talk about it. it. Be about it, Fred. Come on now. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> I love it. Keep it up. I love the swagger. Yes, ma'am. Hey, that, that gritty looked clean, though. I respect that. that. He says, yes, ma'am, too. That's, no, right? well, that's a well-raised individual right there. I love to see that. Incredible, incredible. And good for his team as well with 55 seconds left. They've got the lead. Oh. First blitz comes in. He's chucking deep. Oh, what man. are you doing? Pick. Pick. Level 82 Pick. picks it up. That's Pick. three points. 
and they take oh, they go into the pit. Point. Lead, and they, they go, go into the pit. <laughs> Liv, get in there. Liv. Liv, this is your chance. Liv's running over there. Ooh. Questionable decision on the throw. You oh, got the lead, the you can chew the clock. But they're down by one. And he, he does that sack though, but. Uh. Dang. Liv. Liv, I don't know if you want it bad enough. A little too late, Liv. I'm in it. <laughs> hey. A little too late. I'm in it. A little too late. Don't worry, I made it. I might be by myself, but I still made it. Hey. I'm with you, Oh man, level 82 is up. 15 to 14 now. That's all right. And that's ball game. That does it. Level 82 versus the Miami Immortals. 15 14. If you did the content, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment because anybody can win. There's a lot of surprises in this tournament, and we got more games coming your way, so don't go anywhere. For MMG and Liv, I'm destroying. We're going to catch y'all next time. Peace out. We got five stars, we got four stars, NFL players, we got celebs all here in Vegas as part of OT7's inaugural season. That's right, the best 18 7 on 7 teams in the country made it out to get their hands on a championship trophy. There's gonna be a one of a kind 7 on 7 league you do not wanna miss. And today we got a great matchup between 24K and Midwest Womb. I'm your host, Destroying. MMG's here with us, what we hey, got, my boy? Hey, what's good, y'all? How we doing? Hey, some beautiful football is yes, about sir. to be played, I can tell you that. Yes, right sir. in front of me, I've got Midwest Boom and the all neon uniforms. Mm. They come from Chicago, Illinois. They've got 14 national championships, 92 total chips, and that's in 10 years. Four star wide oh receiver God. Jeremiah McClellan, Cassius Callahan, and Malik Elzey joined the squad. And CD Lamb was from here. What? This is one of the swaggiest teams I, didn't even know I that. have ever seen. <laughs> I'm so excited excited to see it and they've got an amazing matchup against 24k live give me the rundown front of 24k another florida team florida is bringing the heat to ot7 they are led by charles lester the third second best qb in the nation and they are stacked with defensive backs so i think we're going to see a great performance from them and i got to get to the bottom of why they're wearing santa claus hats that was part of their warm-up so i'm going to figure that out and get back to you guys they're still wearing it on the field Liv. i think they're going out there with it <laughs> the Santa hat. You see that? Free safety on the left. Got the Santa hat on. Oh my God! I love it. I love the swag, man. I love the swag. Absolutely. Hey, I'm excited to see it. Midwest Boom taking hey, over on offense to start. Let's see what they got. Cool Teshner. This guy is a beast. The Josh Allen comparison. He's kind of got a Josh Allen look, if I do say so myself. And uh, Come on, Little Ben, hey, play, he likes no, to go by Little Ben. Oh, well, he yeah. said, no, I'm not Jack Allen, I'm right, Little right, Ben. Right. All right, hey, here we go. Hey, Ben, hit him on this. Let's get this. Carter, stick it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Midwest Boom's oh, coaching that. staff is very intense. I love to see it. Bro, I love it. They so poised, they so professional, but they got swag. They, mm -hmm. they got it all, bro. And they about to score right here. Ah, Slinging it. I thought I seen a route come open. Well, I can see the Josh Allen comparison. That was a cannon. A little too far for it. Midwest Boom. That boy's slinging it though. That's okay. Hey. Double drive. What? Double drive. All right. All right. Hey. Got it. Yeah, we got it. We got a direct snap. Listen, do not jump off sides. Here we go. Hey, this side. Let's hit double drags, Caleb. Hey. Look for it. Got motion. Love that boy number eight it. is huge, man. I love hearing the coaches there. No, no, it's like you get an inside on their plays. Expect Midwest Boom to go short here, third and goal. If they do not convert, not which they do, he got that. Take it down that. early, but that moves the chains that. across the 25. Reset he got the that. downs. Yes, sir. I like one. He seems very quick and shifty. Hey, are they going to be a man? Yeah. Can we win Thunder? Can you get the inside through the way? Get that win. I wouldn't call it the prettiest, but it moves the chains. That's all that matters. That's all Santa that matters. Claus with the, with the tap. <laughs> Bro, this guy got a cape on over here, too. <laughs> Unloads deep. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Had his mitts on it, but that was spectacular coverage. Oh, cats. 
Cars lift the number two DB in the country. He said that straps. Mm -hmm. That straps. He's Beautiful on that. turnaround. That was His. spectacular. You defense. seen that flip of the hips? Mm -hmm. Boy, he's on that. Running vertical switch. Outside guys work up to the to the rub. Work up to the rub. 24K Golden. I wonder if that's where they get the name from. Copyright laws. Right. It's just 24K, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, easy. Easy. Oof. Santa with the tag off. <laughs> You're getting it mixed up. Midwest Boom is knocking on the door. They might got get in two, there. three yards to be the first to put points up on the board. I got my money on them scoring right here. Can we bet on this? What's the over? What's high low this side. It's the over under. Midwest Boom versus 24K. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm going to set at 35, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets. Place your bets. Going once, <laughs> going twice. 35 over under. It's closed. You can't place your bets anymore. We'll reconvene at the end. Tester takes the snap. Three right yeah, side, okay, two okay. left. Lots Easy. of collisions in a Easy. beautiful throw. Sheesh. Malik Elzey, we told you he's a four star, and he's showing it off right now. Beautiful catch in the back of the end zone. Midwest, hey, boom. That's a big body. Is the first on the board, yeah. That's a big body. Teshner definitely likes him. Hey, I'm not one shy from competition, but I wouldn't want to line up. I am one to shy away from competition, and I'm going nowhere near that guy. Beautiful got throw. He got it. Rifled it back there. And the cape doing him no favors in defensive. <laughs> the cape slowing there. him down. Seems I like. love it though. This is what this is what it's all about. Yeah. It's young kids in high school, super talented athletes, and having an absolute blast at OT7. Going for just yeah. one point. Tester in the back of oh! the end zone. Oh, no gotta way. Catch that. Sheesh. He needs two words. Two words. I've seen a lot of quarterback talent Triples. today, but Teshner is really showing out so far. Grimples. Absolute cannon. Oh, I take it back. That was a spectacular play by the DB. I did not see the tip. Oh. Hey, well man. done. Coach just said Teddy first play on the right. <laughs> did he? Teddy first play on the right. Let's see it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, move your eyes to the right side of the screen. A lot of He's got, got a little insider a lot of information these guys here. Though, so let's see. Oh, no, I believe it. He's got, he's got the size he on him. He's going to gun it. Quarterback. Oh, uh, see, I told you. This could be I hey, what happened, told coach? You that. Bad informant. What happened, coach? Yeah, they, they did a good job. All right. <laughs> hey, he admitted to it. He admitted to it. They, they did a good job on defense. I respect so. that. Here we go. TP, <laughs> <laughs> my back. I threw that hook. No, no, no. Go back to H. Back to H. Poised. I'm H. Yeah, Bryce, go to X for this. Calm, for this. cool, collected. Exactly. First five minutes in the books. Yeah, Six to zero. Oh, so quick, bro. Absolutely. It's crazy. I need everyone out. And loads for 10, oh. and that's a drop. Oh. oh. Good. Never Defense. have possession. By Midwest Boom. Never have possession. Bryson, go to A. Go to A. He juggled it around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Never have possession of that. Hey, Liv, yourself. you think you would have caught that? Come on, TP. Yeah. Well, undoubtedly, you're going to see something deep here. If not, an 18-yard comeback. They've got to get to the 25 yeah. to reset these chains. you got to finish your breakfast, man. Sheesh. He would have had the first, too. you got to finish your breakfast. A little press coverage. Oh, that's coming. the blitz. <laughs> Shifty. <laughs> the camera set a pick on the blitz. <laughs> hey, he was, he was trying to blitz, and he ran into the camera, man. <laughs> <laughs> Turn over on downs. We got to pad up the camera. They trying to get these good angles. Hey, be careful now. Cameraman, you good? <laughs> he look good. He, he seemed good. He seemed oh, good. Yeah, I just got smacked in the back. <laughs> <laughs> you got smacked. That's a trooper right there. We appreciate it. Whiplash. That's how you get these awesome angles right here, ladies and gentlemen. And my favorite coach in the world. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is why I'm rooting for Midwest Boom. You look like, you look like Ric Flair. Coach JR. Woo! Woo! If I get to the point in my yeah. life where I can rock a purple cutoff and purple pits. Oh, man. Ooh! Ah, you got to come down with that. Batman running that mouth. Mm -hmm. Batman locking up! 
This is one of the best defensive games I've seen, and I love it. Yeah, Strout. Strout. All right, this is for you. All right, Tim, you got to give me this. If you go this way, you, this way, you got to go quick. Turn him at eight yards and give me that corner. Let's go, JJ. Short corner, JJ. Running back. Let's go one more time. Hey, you got to climb to 15 fast. Inside release. Got it, JJ. I love oh, this set, man. It's our lead spot. Oh, never mind. Batman on oh, that. Batman. Batman. Here we go. Batman and Santa Claus. What an odd combination. <laughs> I figure if you wear the cape, you got to be pretty good at football. Right? And he is showing right now. <laughs> you can't wear the cape and just not play well. No, you kind of have, have, have to. We hit the fade. All right, but watch. You kind of have to. Steal the cross right here. You give me that settle route at 20. Batman and Santa Claus. Right? Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> over. Cross 24K putting out an excellent right. defensive oh, showing cross here. Eight. But they've got a score on offense. Third down, a lot to go. Midwest Boom still on the 40. They need 15 yards here. Let's see what they got in the Duffy. He unloads. Uh, and that's he had two people range, but mm -hmm. just couldn't connect, man. Not Turnover a on downs. Yard. No fly zone. 24K gets a chance to take over on offense and put some points up on the board as we approach the 10 minute mark. Let's see what they got. Eight to two right now. Look at this defense. This is one of the most physical. I like how they get points on turnovers, man. Absolutely. Thank you. Mm. Ooh. Wow. Who's Seeing to? ghosts. Hey, Liv, I heard you got some special characters down there, man. Let us know. <laughs> I, sh I sure do have some special characters. So first of all, um, what's with the cape? Can you explain that? What's what's the vibe uh, with this? I'm a speedster, so you know what I'm saying? I just oh, yes. put it on so I can show my speed. I saw it out there. Uh, I absolutely it. saw it out there. Uh, I, I just checked my watch, and uh, it's uh, June. What's with the Santa Claus vibe? What's going on there? It's coming early this year. Oh. We're coming out of nowhere. Oh, okay. I love it. I love it. I love it. You guys look awesome, and I'm um, excited to see what you guys do out there. Hope the costumes help. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, they've been helping so far. <laughs> Batman has been strapping up. Liv, I, don't, I think I have more questions now. <laughs> that I don't boy think said that it's coming out right. early. <laughs> he said he's a speedster, so he's got, doesn't that slow you down? I guess he's trying to say he's a superhero or something like that. Hey, he's I love the it. Cape They're both ballers. They're playing excellent defensive football. They're doing their thing. They're doing their thing. Mm -hmm. 24K, six, 10 yards away from six door. points. Oh, yeah. Little drag underneath. Oh, yeah. That's four yards. Oh, yeah. Spitting distance. There we go. Second and about seven. Is it second? Yeah, it is. Second. I, think, I think they're on Wait, the no, they got the first They might have gotten the reset. Nice. They did. Work and move. Oh. 24K has got three plays to go seven yards. See, they cook up. Ooh, that's a sack. Them boys are strap. Sheesh. Them boys are strap. One, two, three, four. Loss of downs for 24K. Nobody's open. You don't got forever back there, my boys. Mm -hmm. Gotta get open. Hey, hey, this the. Come on, come on. He's up. He's up. Outside, outside, come back. Outside, come back. Come back. See, this coach promised me a touchdown forever ago. Mm -hmm. And he still ain't came through, man. I hate when people promise and not deliver. Oh. Is that another one? Oh, he might have got him. Mm. I absolutely ah. love what Midwest Boom is doing down here. They know in man coverage that they're going to get burnt on one of these edges. So they've opted for the zone, and it is just unbeatable right now. 24K can't figure it out. They've got one more play to do it. To lock up in seven on seven football for seven yards in three plays is so impressive. Let's see if they can pull it off. Two to eight, 24K yeah, needs out. this one. Rolling out left, back in the end zone. Yes, and there he yes, is. Oh, 24K. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey! 
Darius. <laughs> Darius Farmer. He's got a little moonwalk, too. Hey, that boy told me before the game he was about to bust the moonwalk out. <laughs> I see you, boy. I told him if he scored a moonwalk, I'd follow him back on Instagram. So. I love it. And I got to follow and the him scoreboard, back. the scoreboard's a little mistaken right now, but it's getting fixed. It is 8 to 8 right now with 24K having the opportunity to take the lead. A one-point PAT makes it 9 to 8. And don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, we're fixed. 8 up. Bingo. 8 to 8. Let's see if they can take that one-point lead. It's a crucial play right here. Look it down, and that's Time. a sack. Time. Time, my boy. Midwest boom. It. Absolutely. Hey, QB Dylan, he did a, a spectacular job getting him down there, getting the touchdown. But you got to get that ball out faster. All right, Batman. That's the third sack for 24K. Midwest boom taking back over on offense. Got seven minutes left in this game. Camera five down again. Cole Teschner looks ready to unload. You got quads left and single coverage on the right. Eight up. I want to see a bomb. Game's interesting. Cross route. Sheesh. Did he you. get touched? One is him. Just barely. I told you. He's one so is him. fast. Mm -hmm. One is him. We got a tie ball game. Scoring out enough 8-0, 24K. Tough catch. Able to make it. And 24K, very glad they were able to touch him there because he had daylight. Got a running back in the backfield, two out left, two out right. We'll see what Teschner cooks up here. Woo! Head top! Oh my oh. god. Oh my god. I was about to say, Batman got to take that cape off if we thought that. <laughs> That's cape. the thing, dude. You wear a cape and you got a target on your back. <laughs> yeah. Everybody wants hey. you to fail. Caleb Miller not able to come down with it. But Batman's solid holding effort. his own, though. Absolutely. Batman holding it down. He's like, yeah, I got a target on me, but boy, y'all ain't missing. Y'all ain't taking none of these shots and hitting. Y'all missing all of them. They got them on the same side, too. I know. They got Santa safety. I know. <laughs> you see all three right two Santas now. I love it. The whole team got to rock the Santa hats, man. I'm surprised you didn't wear the Christmas lights out. <laughs> That's the blitz from 24K. He gets rid of it yeah, quick. Oh, my God. Sheesh. Oh, my God. Turnover on downs. Turnover on downs. That's two points for 24K. Hey, you Excellent said, time to use the you blitz. You said you surprised they didn't have Christmas lights. Earlier, they had a Christmas lights chain, bro. Really? They came up to the booth and they had a chain on. <laughs> it was flashing Christmas lights, bro. <laughs> Wait, so they actually had it? They went all out. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> He's got to wear it out here. That's crazy. I like the creativity. I love OT7 because kids get to be themselves. They get to bring some swag, mm -hmm. some culture. Some excitement to the game, man. I, I couldn't agree more. I think a lot of production stripped the individuality yeah. from these kids. So you yeah. can do something like this with overtime. Everybody gets to have fun, but still compete. Good catch. He's got a five-yard out route for number nine. Good 24K catch, Golden is in the driver's seat. Two-point lead within five. 10-8. I think a touchdown here solidifies it, but Midwest Boom has shown spectacular defense. I love this. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, hope you bet the under. Life's too short <laughs> to bet the under, but yeah, I still like Very making money too. Game, I don't care man. how short life is. Very the deep under deep. is under. hitting. Bro, you never a, know. A, a, a. No, I don't know how to sports bet, bro. <laughs> don't learn. <laughs> you don't I don't know, know what the overs, do the that. unders, none of that. Easy. They opting for the short uh, drag, and that's. Solid defense. There could still money be a turnover right here. here. Money Third down and right two. Here. Third down, money down. 24K. Uh oh. Start out wide and two double shift. I'm not running back here. 24K cannot convert these two yards. We're back to a tie ball game with Midwest Boom on offense. Crucial play. Just go there. Just go there. Charles tight. Charles tight. You're fine, you're fine. No, tight, tight, tight. Oh, the nerves are set, man. A lot of miscommunication right now. Got to get that ball off. Press coverage. He's touchdown. got a man deep. Touchdown. And that's a touchdown. Touchdown. 24K. To the pit. And he's headed to the ball pit. To the pit. Whole squad. <laughs> Did he put a mask Santa on? Santa front flip. I love to see Did it. Did that boy put a mask on, too? Bro, they Christmas got all mask? types of costumes. 
I wonder oh. what they're going to do at Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> they're all in the ball pit. Hop in there, Liv. Jump in there, Liv. You get redemption, Liv. Oh, oh, I'm supposed to get in this there. Here turn. I go. This is your chance. Here I go. This is your Woo! chance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It is lit in here. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> it, oh, oh, oh. I'm in the way. Oh, oh. <laughs> it is lit in the pit. Lit nice. in the pit, folks. You've been hanging wow. on to that one, Liv. They got five seconds. These boys were so happy <laughs> to be celebrating the pit. I I lost my mic. Game. You might lose your down right here. Oh, yeah, it don't matter. That it don't matter. It's a dagger. That is a dagger right there. It was an eight point ball game. Midwest Boom could have potentially scored the touchdown, two point PAT. But that makes it a 9.2 possession ball game. Would be a difficult one for Midwest Boom. I'm excited to see it. Now, it's interesting to note what happened on this play. It was third and two. So everybody on Midwest Boom is looking short, looking short. They want to see the drag. They want to see the hitch. And they forget about the deep ball. Ballsy to take the shot, but it very much paid off for 24K. Let's see what Midwest Boom does. Ooh, oh. we got a man down, too. Ah. That boy almost threw a pick, too. That boy almost threw a pick. Yep. A minute 30 left. Warm up the buses. <laughs> it's going to be a quiet ride home. <laughs> That's the worst, bro. The bus ride after you lose? That's so bad. Oh, man. That's the worst. Ain't nobody saying a word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, quarterback switch. A little pump. Oh, deep little one. Band. And that's some, some oh, yeah. miscommunication. Oh, yeah. I might have spoke oh, yeah. too soon. Gritty it out, boy. Gritty it out. John Kemp with the touchdown here. Lost in translation on the defense. It's 17 to 14. Man. Wait a minute. Wait, Wait a minute, over better. They got to go for two, and they got to get a turnover. Yeah. That's the only way for Boom to win right That's now. That's why that, uh, and there's not that a lot of time PAT left. stop was a massive before. There's not a lot of time left, too. Mm -hmm. You need the turnover. Clock. Throw that in the back. Yep. Wide open. They got that. that is I don't know. It's 30 seconds. Yeah. Only a pick can save them. Yeah. Are they built like that? You need to catch a pick to win. Mm-hmm. Now it is pool play, but if I'm 24K, I snap that ball and I throw it straight into the dirt. Oh no, I think these guys are gonna be these guys are gonna be gentlemen. They're gonna shake hands and uh, walk it off. Respect. GGs. GGs. Respect. Spectacular game from two of my favorite teams GGs. now. Absolutely. 24K, 17 points, Midwest boom, 15. The under has hit, it's ladies and gentlemen. One. Hey, that does it. 24K taking the lead. If you guys like what you're seeing, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. We have so many more games coming your way, and they only get better from here, so don't go anywhere. For MMG, that's me, myself, Devin, and Destroying, we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.